Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Data Science University with MLV Prasad. The agenda for today's video is Project 2 Panda Street Code, Question Type Easy 1179 Reformat Department Table. The GitHub link for the solution is provided in the description below. You can join my Telegram and LinkedIn YT page communities for further updates and discussions. Scan here to join the communities and also the links are provided in the description below. Now let's solve together the problem. So we can see they have given some department table ID revenue month. Okay. Reformat the table such that department ID columns and a revenue column for each month. Okay, let us come here copy paste it here okay so this is the desired table this is the original table and this is the desired table so we can clearly see what they're trying to do is pivoting okay so we can find here ids what are the unique ids among all of them one two three and they are taking the month column in the columns let us say january february march april so on so on up to december okay so they are taking out the values which is common for both of them one and january eight thousand one and february seven thousand one and six thousand so march six thousand etc etc for all the other months we don't have anything so whenever the value is not present they are keeping it as null so what they're doing they're trying to do pivoting by keeping ids in the rows months in the columns okay and they're taking the value of revenues here okay let us do that first of all df is equal to pd dot pivot in the rows index should be id in the columns it should be month and the values should be revenue okay okay let me return df so this is not a table which we want name month is not defined here it is defined okay it should be column i guess should be a value yes but there is an issue it is not a data frame right let me write it the data frame Yeah, sorry data is missing we are taking the columns but we are forgetting which table we need so data should be department for the department table index is equal to id month equal to etc etc so we got it but can you see what is happening first of all we want for all the columns means all the months from january to end everything and every column should have this suffix revenue january revenue etc etc so let me add a suffix add suffix underscore revenue I think suffix maybe okay so we have the ID columns in the rows and the month column in the columns table and the values are of this revenue we got it the problem is whatever the columns which are not available the months not available it is not coming we want for them also to be coming okay so for that let me do df dot reset index okay let me add columns is equal to first of all id column should be there all these columns which require let me keep it as a list of things 
जनवरी में बन गया फेब्रुवरी में बन गया मार्च में बन गया अप्रैल में बन गया मई में बन गया Okay. Double check. I think re-index maybe. Yeah, yes. Okay, still there's an issue. What is that? Okay. DF is equal to Okay, exactly. So what we have done, we have pivoted the table where ID is equal to this one, columns is equal to this one, values, but we want the suffix revenue. So we have added revenue and I want to return this as a data frame. So I have done the research and access. So, but I don't have all the other columns. So what I did, I manually added these columns. Okay. Now what will happen? If the column is already present in the table, that columns will be there. If it is not present in the table, it will be added with the values is equal to null. You can see here. So, if the three columns are already there, okay, keep leave it. If the other columns are not present previously, please add them, but the value should be null. That is what the re-index will do. Okay, hope it is clear for everyone. If you want the code solution for that, it will be available in this GitHub repository and the link will be provided in the description below. And if you're further interested in learning data science, data analytics, machine learning, NLP, computer vision, generative AI stuff, please fill in this Google form below. My team will be contacting you soon. And if you're further preparing for data science interviews, please check my playlist. It will be greatly helping you. And for further questions or doubts regarding the question which we have solved, please use the hashtag AskAmiraiPrasad and shoot down your questions in the comment sections. I will try to answer those. Okay. Until then, keep learning guys.